It is week eight of the NFL football season, and we got the Sunday slate team to break down this week's games. Welcome in Jacob Wayne, Patrick Monin, and Matt Amato. Looking at this next matchup, uh, it's going to be out in the West, big matchup in the NFC West, favored. 49ers are favored by one and a half on the road in LA against the Rams who lost to the 49ers earlier this month. This was going into the season. It was supposed to be a big marquee matchup. Doesn't quite look like that now. Not that the 49ers are below 500. Rams are just sitting at 500. So can they snag a win on at home in this one? I just, I, this, this season has played out differently than I expected from both of these teams. Rams might be getting over their, their Super Bowl hangover at this point, but Stafford, six touchdowns, eight interceptions this season. Not looking good. I, I I don't like the looks of that there. I think in week yeah, in week three, he was sacked four times by the 49ers defense. So I have the 49ers in this one. Where are you guys at? Short short spread in this one. Yeah, I'll be on the Niners too. I'm sure Patrick and Matt will have some uh to talk about the Shanahan versus McVay difference, but the big thing I wanted to bring up here is uh Jimmy Garoppolo being under pressure. Um you know, he's really struggled under pressure against the Chiefs, took five sacks, safety, and even a strip sack. Um, but the issue here is the Rams really aren't getting pressure this season. They only rank 31st in pressure rate. Um, teams are just double-teaming Aaron Donald, and they really don't have another consistent pass rusher to help. Um, you know, Von Miller was uh, pivotal in that sense last year, and I think we're going to see them trade for another pass rusher before the deadline. But for this matchup, like, they had five pressures against the Niners in that first matchup earlier in the year. And that was without Trent Williams. That was with Colt McKivitz getting hurt in that game. And now those guys are, are actually McKivitz is probably still out. But Williams is healthy. And Williams is one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL. I, don't, I think Jimmy G is going to have a clean pocket to work with. I think their defense is going to be able to put pressure on Stafford on the other end. So you're looking at the Niners who are going to win the battle in the trenches on both sides of the ball, I think. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with that. Um yeah, the, the Shanahan McVay stuff. I mean, you can go look into the number. Shanahan historically, this is a spot where you take him, especially coming off of back to back bad losses. We should be able to see more of, of Christian McCaffrey in this game. Now he's had another week to acclimate to this offense. I think that's actually particularly important against the Rams defense. That, like Jacob said, they don't get pressure where they are good is against the run. And that's a problem against this Niners team that is really strong, especially on the interior and especially strong. With a running back, a uh, running back by committee look that I think they can really, really use to exploit this this Rams defensive front here. And then on the other side of the ball, they they've lost no boom for the season now. An already weak offensive line that ranks near the bottom in in pass protection. He's gone. I think the 49ers get pressure up front. I think you can actually tease this game in either direction, and it's not a horrible bet because. I do think it, it is less than a four-point game. I think this ends up being a, a closer divisional game than what we saw on Monday night the last time these teams played. But I uh, overall, I, I do love the Niners here. I think they're going to be able to, to really ball control this game, and I think Stafford's going to be under duress most of the game. I am all over this game. There's a, there's a lot of bets I like. A couple aren't out yet, and I'll touch those, but... First, I'll talk about the spread, minus one and a half. I just think the 49ers right now, slightly better team. I think Jason Verrett has a pretty good chance of playing this game. I think they were kind of eyeing this matchup as the week to get him activated. And for him to play, he was limited on Wednesday. We'll see if he ends up playing. I think it is a big deal if he does, because having Jason Verrett is going to really help this secondary kind of get out of the basement when it comes to how they've been playing. In general, I do think the 49ers, despite having some injuries on the defensive line, will be able to get pressure, because... I'm pretty sure us four could line up and get pressure on the Rams right now the way their offensive line is playing. And in general, I think CMC has a massive game, and that kind of leads me to one of the props I like, which is CMC longest rush and longest reception. When those are available, I have a good feeling I'm going to like the value on that. He is just a playmaker. We see how the Rams tackle in the secondary. It's not pretty. Obviously, I would love that for Debo to play this game. I think he might be out, but I think CMC fills that gap, and the 49ers end up winning. I also like the Niners to score over two and a half touchdowns at plus 120. The key number there is at plus 120. If it is a lesser value by the time this video is out, you may not want to take it. But I think when you're getting plus money and over two and a half, it's good. I also like the Cooper Cup props when those come out. I think Cup is going to be the guy because when Stafford's under duress, he forces the ball to Cup. You're probably going to like his over receptions prop in this game as I could see the 49ers kind of maybe even up 
big in this one. And then the, the Rams scoring a few in garbage time and, again, just feeding Cup all over the field. I guess that's pretty much it. So let me go over our bets. So all four of us on the 49ers at minus one and a half. I'm at a half unit. You guys all on a full unit. I mentioned the Cooper Cup and CMC props that I'll comment down below. And then over 49ers, 49ers over two and a half total touchdowns at plus 120. I like a half unit on that sprinkling with some good value. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already and click the bell to get notified when our videos go up. Check out lamps.com for more great analysis and check out our YouTube channel for more videos. We're covering college football, NBA, NFL, and more. All right, we'll see you for the next one very soon.